hi guys it's day 17 of vlogmas and i can't wait to go home so in the meantime it's raining cats and dogs on the outside it's been a really um heavy week i had two funerals this week um um and they were very young people like so it's just hard you know it's a christmas season and um you're thinking about those families and what they're going to do because it's like a week and a half, two weeks out from Christmas, you know. You have already thought about the gifts they're going to get their family members and now they're not here. So it's been a really tough week and, you know, coupled on that, it's been really tiring. I was printing out um, a list for my cousin on Pinterest. And I came across this one that um, it said, Never Have I Ever, Christmas Edition. I was like, hmm, song interested. So here we go with the Never Have I Ever Christmas Edition. So I'm reading the um, the list off of the screen. So you're going to be seeing the screen in my glasses again. Um, I should take them off, but hey, let's see. Yeah, if I take them on, I'm going to be squinting, so that's enough. <laughs> um, so here we go. Never have I ever Christmas edition. Number one, never have I ever sat on Santa's knees. Never, never. I have never sat on Santa's knees in my entire life. Um, in growing up in the Caribbean, I don't think we believe in Santa or uh, even look forward to Santa because... Um, when you look at the Christmas movie, he's ta they're talking about Santa coming down your chimney. And we don't have chimneys in the Caribbean, okay? So, yeah, we didn't sat on Santa's knee. I didn't take any pictures with Santa as a kid. None of that. <laughs> um, number two, never have I ever been sick on Christmas Day. Um... I don't think I can recall being sick. Number three, got cold. That stupid thing with Santa, Santa giving you cold for um, being bad. No, I was never a bad child and not a bad person. So, so I don't get cold and I don't believe in Santa giving you cold anyways. Wore a Christmas jump. I, I can wear a hoodie, but not sweaters uh, for you people in the UK jumpers. Eating turkey at Christmas. Yeah, I eat turkey at Christmas before. Number six, watch the elf, the film Elf. Yeah, I've watched Elf. I love Elf movie because I love Will Ferrell. He's just dumb stupid. But yeah, I love Elf. Had a real Christmas tree. No, growing up, I've never had a, um, a Christmas tree growing up. Back in the islands, my mom and dad, they don't put, put up Christmas trees and that kind of stuff. Here in the U.S., I put up Christmas trees, trees but it's not, a, it's not a real one. It's a fake one. You already heard that um, when I did my Christmas tag, what I thought about the real trees. Those things, are just, they smell good, that's about it. But the cleanup is too much of drama. Number... Eight, built a snowman. I've built a snowman with my little cousins before. Yeah, if I can find a picture, I can insert it. If not, the state my work with it that I have built a snowman before. Number nine, made a gingerbread house. I've never made a gingerbread house, but I've eaten a gingerbread house. <laughs> but you will see me um, assembling, uh, decorating a gingerbread house that I bought. Uh, for vlogmas pretty soon maybe mon in Monday's vlog you will see it um, eating a mince pie this is a UK list we don't call it mince pie I don't remember what we call it I think we call it a shepherd's pie I think back home in the islands we call it a shepherd's pie but yes I've eaten it and I love it 11 kissed on the mistletoe no I've never kissed under the mistletoe I don't believe in the stupid mistletoe in the first place it looks cute and nice in 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 um, the movies, but no. I I was about to digress again about that mistletoe, but I I will move on. Number twelve, eating sprouts. No, I don't like Brussels sprouts. I don't know. No, I don't like Brussels sprouts. Number thirteen, wash deck the house. Of course, I wash deck the house. 
I've washed it too many times. <laughs> um, 14, bake cookies for Santa. Nope, never bake cookies for Santa. Let's move on. Moving along. Number 15, pretend to like a gift. <laughs> Yes, I've done that. I'm sorry. Yes, I pretended to like a gift. But when in my brain, I was like, what in heaven's name is this? <laughs> That's like getting the ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> yes, but yes, I've done that. And I won't say what it is because the poets may know what I'm talking about. But yes, I've done that. Um, <laughs> Number 16. Gone Christmas caroling. Yes, I've gone Christmas caroling back home in the islands. I haven't done it here in the U.S. The way how we do Christmas caroling is not like here where you just sing the Christmas songs. You actually make up um, a song about the person in the house and sing it. And then they come out and they open the door and they enjoy it. Some people don't open the door. They choose to stay inside and laugh at you making fun of them in their home. So... Christmas caroling in the islands, I liked it because it was fun. Because we always put, if you're from the islands, you know we put a spin to everything. It's never traditional. It's, we always put a spin to everything that we do. But yeah, number um, six, number 17, peaked at a present. Nope, I've never peaked at a present never because i would want to be surprised on christmas day i'm that i'm that type of person i don't even want to open a gift with one gift on mid at midnight i love christmas that much i don't want to open any gift i don't want to know you know what i do and my cousins my cousins laugh at me for this because if we have like you know secret santa you know you have to open the gift for the group to see what the secret santa gift is i open the gift but believe you me i rewrap that gift and put it under the tree <laughs> yes i rewrap that gift and put it back under the tree and act as surprised uh, as if to say i never knew what was in the gift that's how much i love christmas people Number 18, spend Christmas alone. Last Christmas, I think that was my very first Christmas that I spent by myself. I don't intend to make it happen again, but yeah. Um, number 19, spend Christmas in the hospital. No, I've never spent Christmas in the hospital, thank the Lord. Um, but the, I know people who, who spend Christmas in the hospital because they are sick. I have family members who spend Christmas in the hospital as well. So, number 20. Um, song in a Christmas choir. Yes. I've sung in a Christmas choir. I've done the little pantomime, you know, to the Christmas songs when I was little. As an adult, I've sung in my church's, um, Choir. And also, I was in, um, for a very short time, in a, a vocal, um, I forget what they call the name of it. I did that for, for one Christmas. Very short stint. <laughs> because the vocal um, training, oh my God, was, was so much. I wish I had stuck it out because then my voice would have been so much better than it is now. But yeah. So that's it for my Never Have I Ever Christmas edition. This was fun to do. There's a whole long list. There's like 50 questions. But I'm going to keep it short at 20 questions. Because I want to go home. It's so cold out there. I'm, I'm dreading going out there. Cold and rain. But yes, I still rather the rain than the snow. So... I just have to battle with being cool and wet for now. But I will see you guys for Vlogmas Day 18.